Hello, my name is Rich Howard, owner of Architectural Builder Supply. This video is to bring you a closer look at the Babcock Davis. This is their number RHPII or P2-Kit-Spring BRKT. What this simply is is the bracket to attach the gas spring, pardon me, the gas lifting mechanism. There's no spring involved. It is a gas pneumatic uh, lifting mechanism for their Personnel 2 series of roof hatches. Uh, this is literally the bracket along with two screws to allow have one of the two of them here, you know, to get that installed. Okay, so this would be something uh, that may be used uh, or you might need to order. There is also the spring stud it will have a riv nut, and the spring stud is the other mounting point, and I'm going to show you those mounting points in a moment. Okay, so some dimensional properties of this first. Made of steel, zinc plated for corrosion resistance. Overall width of the bracket, about almost two and a half inch. Center to center of the mounting holes, should that be important, it looks like it's about an inch and five eighths. The overall width, about seven eighths. The overall height, about one inch. Okay. That stud that is on the end there. A couple of security screws. Appear to be a Torx drive. Um, you know, maybe five sixteenths thread. Let's take a look. Uh, quarter inch. 0.242 actually is the outside diameter of the threads. Now let's switch to the screen view where we can take a look at some supporting documentation. Now we'll skip over to the manufacturer's site which this data is replicated in our site as well but we can show you a bit clearly that spring bracket is going to go up to the lid of the unit and then that stud which is a separate item um, is to the side wall of the unit and then depending on the size of the unit you'll use a 250 or a 500 rated gas lift the manufacturer does not indicate or publish what lifting mechanisms are required for each hatch uh, so reach out to us if you're unsure at all about which unit to be looking at. They do have a parts drawing that's here and which is of course linked to down below uh, as well. And I do not see where they refer to our spring bracket or our, our, our mounting bracket here. Yeah, unfortunately they don't. So, which is actually quite typical that a manufacturer does not indicate very clearly what is being used on a particular type of hatch, what it's made of and its size. They don't list a bill of materials for it. But this video is to simply serve as visual and dimensional evidence of this spring bracket. Let's switch back to the camera view. Now, in conclusion, this is used on the Personnel 2 uh, roof hatches. And again, this video is to serve as some visual and dimensional evidence of this item. If you're unsure of what you need for a Babcock Davis hatch, don't guess. Email us photographs. We'll work with the factory to determine exactly what are the correct replacement parts that the unit was originally engineered and designed and then built with so that you can continue to get uh, safe, uh, reliable and dependable operation out of the roof hatch, the significant investment in the roof hatch. Some manufacturers will suggest that you replace the entire roof hatch. Um, that's really not a realistic answer, uh, especially when that manufacturer has the ability to supply you with advice and most typically part numbers 
as to what it'll take to keep that roof hatch working correctly. Babcock Davis does a very good job with communicating back to us when it comes to helping you determine what parts you need. Any questions on the Babcock Davis RHPII-Kit-SpringBRKT Personnel 2 part spring bracket or any other. I'm not sure why they call it a spring bracket. It should be a gas bracket um, as far as I, <laughs> I can tell. Uh, any questions on this or any other Babcock Davis product, please feel free to reach out to us. And thank you.